Hello friends, welcome to PHP video tutorial series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss difference between JavaScript and PHP. You can see here, I have listed out major differences between JavaScript and PHP. We understand them one by one. JavaScript is a client-side scripting language, whereas PHP is a server-side scripting language. We know that JavaScript codes are executed by the browsers within the client machine. Hence, JavaScript is considered as client-side scripting language. Whereas, PHP codes are executed by the PHP engine available within the server. Hence, PHP is considered as server-side scripting language. JavaScript, client-side, PHP, server-side. The network or the internet works based on the client-server architecture. Let's understand it clearly. Clients and servers are connected to the internet www, World Wide Web. Server is a machine where we upload our websites. Servers are going to contain websites. Any PC, laptop or a mobile or a device which is connected to the internet is considered as a client. Within the client, we will be having browsers like Google Chrome, Safari, Internet Explorer, UC Browser, etc, etc, etc. With the help of the browsers, we request for a page to the server. The request will be sent to the server. Server locates the page. If it is available, it sends that page as a response back. That page will be displayed or rendered by the browsers. We can see the page open in the browser. So, the client is the one which requests, whereas server is the machine which sends a response back to the request. Hope you understood how the client-server architecture works. As I told that, JavaScript is a client-side scripting language whereas PHP is a server-side scripting language. Let's understand clearly. Here we have a client machine and here we have the server. Within the server machine, let's assume that we have uploaded a playschool.com website. Within the playschool.com website, we have different pages and resources like we have home.php file, we have other HTML pages, other PHP files, etc. In the client machine, we open the browser, maybe a Google Chrome or whatever it is. We type https colon double forward slash www.playschool.com forward slash home.php. You can see here, we are requesting for home.php from the client machine. The request will be sent to the server. Okay. Now the server locates for that page. Is there a home.php? Yes, there is a file called as home.php available. You can see that the JavaScript code are embedded with the help of script tag whereas PHP codes are embedded with the help of special PHP tag that is less than question mark PHP question mark greater than. Now what the server does actually is it is going to give this file to the PHP engine. So the PHP engine what it does is it is going to execute the PHP code. So this PHP code is going to be executed by the PHP engine available on the server and it generates the pure HTML code for that. There will be no PHP code. The PHP code result will be placed in this new home.php file that is pure HTML code. So what happens here is the PHP code is going to be executed, executed on the server. Okay. The JavaScript code will not be executed on the server. Then what happens, this home.php file, the resultant home.php file has only the HTML code, some HTML code and the script code. This page will be sent as a response back to the client machine. Now the client software that is the browser is going to execute this home.php file from top to down. It start displaying the HTML code and on the client machine, the browser is going to execute the the JavaScript code. So JavaScript code is going to be executed on the client machine. As the PHP code is executed on the server, it is considered as server side scripting language. Whereas as the JavaScript code is executed on the client machine, it is considered as client side scripting language. One of the thing you should understand is JavaScript is considered as less secure whereas PHP is considered as more secure because the PHP code is executed within the sandbox and uh, as you know that the JavaScript code is going to be downloaded to the client machine and then executed 
while downloading the JavaScript code, some other malicious code might also get downloaded. Hence, the JavaScript is considered as uh, less secure, as well as uh, anybody can see the JavaScript code, whereas PHP code nobody can see except the person who developed or the person who has permission to access this file. That is how the JavaScript code and uh, PHP codes get executed. I hope you guys have clearly understood uh, why the JavaScript is considered as client-side scripting language and PHP is considered as the server-side scripting language. We see anyhow, I'm going to give a demo for this. We see that uh, PHP is executed on the server and we see the JavaScript is executed on the client machine later. Let's proceed further and understand the next differences. JavaScript is a uh, platform independent as well as PHP is also platform independent. Platform independent means they are not specific to the platform. JavaScript and PHP codes can be executed on any platform. It may be a Windows, Android, Mac, Linux, any platform. Both JavaScript and PHP are case sensitive language. Languages case sensitive means um, both JavaScript and PHP are going to treat lowercase letters and uppercase letters completely different. Anything need to be written in uppercase must and should be written in uppercase. Anything need to be written in lowercase must and should be written in lowercase. Okay, JavaScript has no access capability to the database and uh, file system, whereas PHP has the ability to access database as well as file systems. With the help of PHP, we can uh, generate PHP files on the fly. We can delete files. We can retrieve the data from the database. We can uh, modify the data within the database. So PHP has the capability to access the database and file systems, whereas JavaScript has no capability of accessing the database and uh, file system. JavaScript is considered as a prototype based language whereas PHP is considered as class based language. That means if I need to create new instances or new objects in JavaScript we take help of prototypes or functions available in JavaScript. Whereas if I need to create new instances or objects in PHP we take help of class. We create a class with the help of that class we create any number of instances or objects. JavaScript is considered as object based language whereas PHP is considered as object oriented language. In JavaScript we don't have object oriented features like class, objects, inheritance, polymorphism, dynamic binding but we can simulate the object oriented features in JavaScript with the help of prototypes. In PHP we have object oriented features like class, objects, inheritance etc. We can embed JavaScript code within the HTML with the help of script tag we can embed the PHP code within the HTML code with the help of special PHP tag that's what we have seen here uh, less than question mark PHP question mark greater than within that we write some PHP code okay next thing is uh, as I told JavaScript is less secure whereas PHP is considered as more secure I think uh, for this video tutorial this much is enough friends I suggest you people to watch this video again and again understand everything clearly in the next video tutorial we get more information on PHP for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial